Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Makeup With V. Today I'm going to be taking you through my high-end beauty favourites of the new year. I feel like I haven't done a video in a super, super long time, so I'm really excited to have a chat with you about a few of the high-end beauty products that I have been loving this new year. So, let's get straight on into it. Okay, so we are going to start off with the face. I had recently purchased this gorgeous beautiful face palette it is the naked skin shapeshifter palette from urban decay and this is the most helpful useful face palette ever i'll talk you through it a little bit so there is a powder side and there is a mirror divider and that separates from the cream side. So these cream products look pretty intimidating, but I had the sales assistant talk me through it and they are so easy to use. I don't really touch this one here, mainly because I don't really see the need to. This one here I pop underneath my eyes to get rid of my dark circles and it is incredible. I have it on today and you can barely see them. Then I use this as the concealer and I use this for contouring. This cream highlight is incredible. I've got it on today. You obviously use all of these before you pop on any of your powder products. I love to use that contouring just a tiny bit underneath my cheekbones to give me a little bit of definition. Um, and it's just such a really, really great color. I'd heard amazing, amazing reviews that this suits a lot of skin tones. And I have the light medium palette and you can also, I think it's a medium tan or a medium dark. I'm not sure. Um, but there is a palette that is kind of like for the darker shades as well. This is so, so good. And then flipping over onto, ooh, flipping over onto the powder side, these are just as amazing. I would use this one on the daily for contouring. I've got it on today. Um, I haven't used the bronzer out of all of the shades. That light pink and this bronzer here are the ones that I really rarely use, mainly because there's another bronzer that I'm obsessed with, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. But this one, not so much, but this is amazing at brightening underneath the eyes just to set your concealer. It is incredible. And this is a really beautiful highlighter, which I have on my face. Actually, I've got a few highlighters on my face, but this is what I have popped over the top just to give it a bit more glitter kind of zhuzh. So, so happy with this palette. It is pretty pricey. I'm pretty sure it's maybe 70 or 80 Australian dollars. Um, and you can buy it from Mecca, which is where you can buy Urban Decay. In my opinion, you can do so much with this palette. So I would definitely say that this is worth the money for sure. On to another favorite is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit in Volume 3. And you kind of can't see, but it is this beautiful rose gold reflect that Hourglass is very fond of. Ugh. My camera and my light is making it look really disgusting. So this is a highlighting slash blush slash bronzer palette. And these are the gorgeous shades. I used this in a recent um, makeup tutorial and I use this every single day. It is so amazing. And it just gives the most amazing kind of lift to your whole face. You look as though you're kind of like lit from within and it is just beautiful. Out of all of these colors, these this is the one that I use the least. This is like a really, really bright pink blush. I, that's not really my deal with blushes. This one here is gorgeous. It's a, it's a little bit darker and a little bit more muted, um, but it's still got that kind of beautiful sheen. And this bronze, it's got, it doesn't have the glitter in it, but it's got a really beautiful sheen that makes you kind of look like JLo. Who doesn't want to look like JLo? So yes, this palette I'm pretty sure is 110 Australian dollars, which I know is crazy. I've got to say, if I hadn't have got it as a gift, probably wouldn't have splurged for it, but I'm so happy I have it because I feel like it has really changed my highlight game. It's the perfect everyday highlighter. Another face product is a new release from Too Faced Cosmetics, 
and it is their chocolate gold soleil bronzer isn't this the cutest thing ever it's like a little chocolate button but also kind of looks like a little purse at the same time it's so gorgeous and this is what the bronzer looks like it's got the chocolate gold engraved in the pan and I'm not sure if you can see on camera but they've got tiny little flecks of shimmer in it and it is oh it is just so gorgeous and oh it smells like chocolate it smells divine so I've got it on my cheeks I've just done like a three on the side of my face just to kind of bronze everything up and bring everything back to life although it is summer here in Australia I'm not very good at tanning, so I usually fake tan. Um, and other than that, I am very, very pale. So this has been giving me life. It is making me look nice and tan, nice and shimmery. This was only released really recently. So to be fair, I haven't been trying. I've only tried this out for maybe a week now, but I've used it every single day for a week without fail. So I think that kind of says something. Oh. Okay, on to some eyes now. I wanted to talk about an eyeshadow palette that I had been eyeing off for a really, really long time and I finally got some vouchers for Christmas. Actually, most of the stuff that I bought was because I got vouchers for Christmas. Um, otherwise, I would never be able to afford this sort of thing. So this is the Stila Eyes Are The Window Shadow Palette in the kind of the shades Soul. And look at that. <gasps> Oh, so pretty. So this palette has a mixture of mattes and a mixture of shimmers. And I'm wearing it on my eyes today. This has been something that I have been using every single day for the past maybe three weeks that I've bought it. Actually, no, longer. So I have been wearing this nonstop. It is the perfect palette to take from day to night. It's got these beautiful transition shades. This one here and this one here. Beautiful transition shades. I've almost brought this all the way up to my brow bone in this look and it's just, oh, it's so nice. And these shimmers are divine. I've got this one here on the inner corner, actually probably like the inner half of my lid maybe. Oh, it's so good. The formula is just amazing. So buttery and also it's the easiest thing to blend. I am a really, really messy makeup person. I kind of just kind of slap it on and hope for the best and hope that it blends out. This is amazing. Blends out all of your mistakes as if they were never there in the first place. I did use this in a recent makeup tutorial as well. So yeah, just goes to show that I use it a lot and it's beautiful. Again, up there in price, I think it's about maybe $80. I'll link everything below and list how much everything is, but I would say definitely worth the splurge because oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so on to some eyebrow products. Benefit recently came out with packs of eyebrow products. They've got the most amazing eyebrow range. If you haven't checked it out already, check it out. Everything that I've ever tried is amazing but the two things that I've tried recently actually this one I've come back to because I tried this a couple years ago and then have found a new lease on life for it and this is brand new so let's talk about this Cabral first this is their pomade and I am in the shade 2 and it is just so good it's really creamy really easy to blend out and lasts all day long and also it comes with this teeny tiny little brush which is just the cute mine's dirty obviously because I use it all the time um, but it's just the cutest thing and it's such a good idea so you can just pop it on the end like that twist it off and there you go amazing product love it so much and then after I've popped this on and brushed them out that's the other thing really really easy to brush out you kind of pop it on and you're like oh I feel a little bit too much over here but as soon as you brush it out it looks amazing so good so after I've done that I go in with my 24 hour brow setter so this is a clear brow gel and it has a two-sided spoolie one with kind of longer bristles one with shorter bristles and it's just the most amazing thing it keeps your eyebrows locked and in place all day and as long as you're brushing them well actually you can brush them however way you like I like to floof up the the front bit and then kind of brush down the sides bit so they look nice and sleek and they just stay like that 
for the whole day. It really is a, actually 24 hour, I don't know because I take it off, so definitely 12 hour. I've never tried it for 24 hours. If I ever do, I will definitely let you know. These have been my favorite eyebrow combination for the past few months, I'd say. Now, last but not least, a few lip products from Fenty Beauty. The first being her Stunner Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. This is, oh my gosh, first of all, the packaging. Isn't that just the most stunning thing you've ever seen in your life? This is the most comfortable matte true red you've ever experienced in your life. Just look at that. Oh, I'll wait till it's dried down a bit, but it is so comfortable. It's one of those things that I popped it on, went out for dinner, came home, forgot I even had any lipstick on, looked in the mirror and it looked perfect. I kid you not, it was amazing. This is just the best formula ever. It's so, so good. Um, I can't remember how much it is. I'll link it down below. But yeah, definitely my favorite matte liquid lip formula in a really, really long time. And my final favorite is the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle Lipstick oh, in the shade Spanked. Now, when I first bought this, I'm gonna be real for you for a second. I only bought this five days ago and it is my favorite. It is such a gorgeous shade. It's so beautiful. Really, really comfortable formula. Doesn't last as long as the Stunner Lip Paint, but this is so, so creamy. And for some reason, this really round applicator really kind of hugs your lip really nicely. Super comfortable, the most gorgeous shade. Like it's a, almost like a perfect kind of nude. It does look a lot redder on the lips when you've got it on the lips. You do obviously have to reapply a lot more with this one than you do with this one, but it's so comfortable, you don't even care. And look at that packaging. It's so incredible. It's really light as well. Really light, really tiny, perfect, perfect handbag size. Just obsessed. So that is all for my high-end beauty favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys, see you in my next one. Bye.